Good day, my name is Renuka Ramesa. And I am Dion Neves. And behind the camera, we have Mr. Derek Ramdat. And we are here to present the practical skills required for the CSEC Agriculture Science Syllabus. Hi again. What we're going to do now is the pH test for soil. And what pH is, is the percentage of hydrogen ions in the soil. It's important for farmers to know what their pH is because it will let them know if the soil is too acidic or if it is alkaline or neutral. If your soil is too acidic then it is of little use for planting and you should make some amendments there. What we're going to need to do our pH tests are our test tubes, our beakers with soil solutions, the universal liquid indicator and litmus strip. Right, this is also a universal indicator as well. So, as stated with our indicators, we're going to use two methods for determining pH. We're going to use this method, the liquid, the liquid indicator. We're going to use litmus paper. Also, we can use a pH meter, but we don't have one today. So, first, what we're going to do, we're going to use the liquid universal indicator to do our samples. We add our samples to the test tube. And then we use pipette to drop in some of the universal indicator into our test tube. That's about four drops should do. Right. And now we observe for any color changes that will occur. While we wait, now we have a good time to let you all know about the pH scale. The pH scale ranges from red where it's an acidic pH to purple, where it's highly alkaline, right? And what we're going to be looking for here is the color changes from our soil solution to any one of these colors here that we're going to use to determine our pH. So in our first test tube, we're going to give it a little stir. again right. and then we're going to use the pH scale to identify which pH our soil samples are so for this sample here to this one here we're going to look at it compare it to the pH meter All the things you can do to do this, you can put up white piece of paper behind the test tube so that you can more clearly see the pH. So this one is about a pH 5 or five between 5 and pH 6. So this will be a slightly acidic soil. And repeat for the others. This one here is about a pH eight or nine. Right, so this one it'd be a more alkaline soil. The last sample here looks almost neutral. So at a pH of seven to seven point something or closer to eight. Right? So our soils here are fairly good to use. They're fairly around neutral and would need much amendment since most plants in the Caribbean range between a soil type of 5 to 8 or 9. Right? For the second set of tests, we're going to use the litmus paper and we're going to dip them directly into the samples and then compare the color changes. one here
now we look for the color changes on the same strips that we would have had the soil samples for. As you can see, the samples or the colors of the samples have not varied much. Right? And this could be because of the error of the litmus paper or but using the universal indicator, we can clearly see that the samples have different pHs, but they vary. If we use the scale here, we we'll see that all samples are within the color or the range of green colors here. So here's your pH meter, here's your litmus paper, and here are your three samples in test tubes that show that they range from fairly neutral or about neutral soil. Alright, so now that we have done our pH test, it's important that we return, clean and return all our instruments in the lab. So we're going to dispose of our samples in the approved receptacle, our soil samples, and return our equipment cleaned to the lab technicians.